Hey, path of exile enthusiasts and hardcore grinders, it's time to gear up and dive deep into the heart of Reclassed once again because the gaming landscape is about to shift with the introduction of tier 17 maps in Path of Exile's new Necropolis League. This isn't just another update, it's a game changer that's pushing the boundaries of the end game grind to new, exhilarating and challenging heights. So let's break down everything you need to know about these formidable new maps straight from the insights of GGG's Mark Roberts. The arrival of tier 17 maps, a new challenge awaits. With the Necropolis League's impending launch, Path of Exile is not just introducing a seasonal gameplay loop or revamping classic unique items, it's reshaping the very essence of its end game with the debut of tier 17 maps. These maps represent the pinnacle of content a step above the current cap of T16 maps that have long been the end goal for the grinding elite. But T17 maps, they're not just another stepping stone, they're a leap into the unknown. Design philosophy, raising the bar. According to Mark Roberts, the game director at Grinding Gear Games, T17 maps are designed to redefine what the end game grind means in Path of Exile. These maps aren't your average farmable content, they're the zenith of challenge, intentionally scarce and crafted to test your metal, skill and character strength like never before. With T17 maps, you can't rely on your usual tactics. They come pre-rolled and no modifications are allowed. It's about facing the game head-on with nothing but your wits and your build to see you through. The rarity and challenge, a delicate balance. What makes tier 17 maps truly unique is their rarity and the philosophy behind their design. These maps aren't meant to be sustainable, they're rare gems within the game's ecosystem, offering bursts of intense challenge rather than a continuous grind. This scarcity is by design, pushing players to engage with other forms of endgame content in between tackling these formidable challenges. And while they're tradable, don't expect them to be commonplace. Their value lies not just in their difficulty, but in their ability to offer something truly rewarding for those prepared to face them. Trading and Sustainability – A New Approach Trading plays a crucial role in Path of Exile's economy, and T17 maps are no exception. They're tradable, yes, but this isn't about turning the end game into an endless loop of T17 runs. It's about striking a balance where players can dip into the pinnacle of Path of Exile's content without it becoming the norm. It's a testament to the game's depth and its commitment to offering a variety of experiences from tackling uber bosses in their uber forms to braving the elements in a T17 map that you've traded for with the spoils of your adventures. The ultimate experience, not just another grind. Tier 17 maps redefine what it means to reach the end game in Path of Exile. They're not just another set of objectives to tick off. They're a test, a challenge meant to be savored and perhaps for some conquered. But more than that, they represent Path of Exile's ongoing commitment to its community to provide content that keeps the game fresh, engaging and endlessly challenging. As we stand on the brink of the Necropolis League, one thing is clear, the journey through Reclast is far from over. With Tier 17 maps, Path of Exile is inviting its most dedicated players to step up, to push beyond the boundaries of what they thought possible and to embrace the grind in a whole new way. So are you ready to face the challenge? That's all for today, folks. If you're as excited as we are to dive into the Necropolis League and tackle those tier 17 maps, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Path of Exile updates and gaming news. Until next time, keep grinding, and may your loot be legendary.